You guys may recognize this young man. We just got him out of the gym to join us on camera again. He got him smiling too. Today we're standing in front of a cell. If you guys didn't see the video where we talked about the ability to do generational add-ons for years and years, we have now stepped into Lennar, which I think is important to understand because they've been partners with Alta for over 20 years. And this cell is over 20 years running as well. And it's gonna run for another 20 years. You believe me? You're about to find out how that all works. Jeb, thanks for joining me again. Really a great story. This cell is incredible, but it didn't start like this, did it, 20 years ago? It did not. Uh, thanks again for having me, Tony. Really appreciate it. Kevin, thank you. Um, Kevin's so, just off camera in case Kevin, we didn't yep, see him just Kevin's by the way. Yeah, in the back. <laughs> um, so this, this system uh, basically started as a single machine system. And if you re remember my video from yesterday or our video from yesterday, we talked about the capability of uh, future expansion and, and, and guaranteed cross generation of the, of the Toyota lineup. And that was a differentiating factor of, of the Toyota machine tools amongst the competition of what we're able to do that many are not. So basically, we're gonna to show to you today what we talked about yesterday, where we started with a machine in 2001, I believe, uh, and, and a pallet system, and then expanded from that and actually pulled mach uh, one machine out because as Kevin mentioned in his video, it had, had basically gotten to its lifespan with the electronic side and replaced it with a new machine within the same system. So. The moral of the story is once you invest in the pallet system itself, the FMS system, that is an asset that can remain running for 20, 30, 40, or 40 years. So, so once you invest in the Toyota technology, you can continue to grow, expand, and change that system uh, as you develop as a company. Yeah, let's start a slow walk. And as we do that, Jeb, I want to bring up a point that Kevin, who is one of the three generations here at Lennar, uh, he brought up to me, he said, I was a little bit nervous because what if I buy a cell and I set up four machines or more and the cell goes down, I'm down four machines, but it hasn't been 20 years, what, once maybe? I mean, the longevity, strength, reliability of this cell is incredible. Kevin, we were just talking about that. Kevin mentioned three breakdowns over 20 years, minor. So within a day, they were back up and running with any issue they had had. So. Yeah, basically a system that is reliable and, and, and the machine tool is only as reliable as the system feeding mm -hmm. the machine tool. So with this system, uh, Kevin's worries were, were quickly erased with the, the, the reliability history that we're able to uh, get out of the system. And I'm, I, I bring that up because I guarantee you there's folks out there right now having that same question because they're manually loading and unloading. They, they haven't fully automated yet. And what if they do go with a cell like this and the whole thing breaks down and their, their customers start you know, losing their lead times, losing what they need to have. I mean, that is a fear and, and an honest and true fear that we need to discuss. So three times in 20 years that were fixed in less than a day, that's sure. almost unheard of. And on top of that, he just invested a small bit of money because he's gonna run it for another 20 years. That, that is a plan. This is amazing. Yes. So right here, you're looking at the two load stations uh, within the system. So basically you have one operator feeding this machine to keep it running uh, throughout the day. Uh, you can actually, as, as you can see, you have two operators loading depending on your cycle times and your workload. So this system, as you mentioned, has been, it was upgraded on the software side. So what Toyota did, uh, JTEC did, is came in uh, last year and upgraded the computer side of things. Uh, and we can show that that's actually on the other side, the cell right here. But, the uh, computer, yeah, the computer, yeah, the computer right here. here. Yep, right here, yep. So that actually feeds and controls the whole system. So all your tools, all your programs are stored within this Tipro system, we call it. Okay. And that is is your brains of this system. And that was what had to be upgraded, but all the iron, all the hardware within this system has not been changed. I'm gonna ask a question because you ever heard that saying, they don't make it like they used to. Right. And this is a, a 2001. We would consider that in technology world because you've updated the software side of things a little bit older, but you guys do make it like you used to. Your, your current cells are gonna run just like this as well. If there's a new folk, uh, company out there that wants to do the same thing, implement something similar, you do make it like you used to. We do, we do. So we go multi-level. So as you can see, this is a single level system. So we go two or three levels high so we can minimize your floor space requirement and and, and grow higher. If you start at two levels, we can go to three levels. Once you start at one, you, you cannot expand beyond one. But but again, the beauty of this system is is the quality, the, the heavy duty, the ruggedness. Um, we're not limited to the weight as we stack up. The top level can hold the same as the second and first level. So. Again, some of the competition, you're limited to the, the, the size and weight of the upper level uh, pallets on our systems, we're not. So it's always been robust. 
uh, and it continues to be robust and built with longevity in mind and, and, and many, many years of use 24 seven. I want to make sure I caught that correctly. You said if you start with one level, you'll stay at one level. But if you start Correct. with two levels, you can go to three levels. Correct. Okay, I did catch that yep. correctly. And that's all the vehicle within the vehicle. So the two level system has the capability to rise up to the higher level to load the pallets up in the upper level of the system. Yeah, makes sense. I want to bring this full circle. Uh, this cell is amazing, but we started out with multi-generational, right? So we can, because this centerpiece here, this automating the whole thing, and I love those custom tombstones, by the way, really great work by the team here at Lenore. Uh, I can put new machines, I can rotate machines out, and this is what we're talking about. This cell, because it's lasted for 20, it's gonna last for another 20. They, if they want to, if, if we can talk Kevin on camera into buying a couple new machines, Let's yep. see if we can do that. He's laughing off camera right now. He's like, maybe we can do that. But as we talk about that, you can, this is what we're talking about by multi-generational. It will always work as we continue to move Correct. forward. Correct. Yeah, four machines on this system, and I think they range from 2005 till 2015 is the mm -hmm. newest machine on this system. But we guarantee cross-generational hookups. So meaning that if we wanted to add a new machine today, we can do that. And there's two things that allow that to happen within the Toyota product line. It's pallet height, the floor, and the clamping mechanism. So this 450 series, Toyota will never change that. So any new 450 can be thrown on this system, incorporated and made to work with the existing hardware. Is there anything I haven't asked you today because this is a perfect example of what people can accomplish, not just now, and they should start now, but not just now, but moving into the future. And we know here at this company, they have a very high mix and low volume. They had the foresight to see what the future was gonna look like and they implemented it right away. We now know because we see it every day, not just without, without foresight, that this is the truth. The batches are getting smaller, high mix is important, and this is running with over 85% of uptime utilization today. People can get into this. Is there anything I haven't asked you about this cell that you think that they should know because this is a perfect real life in use example of what they can accomplish. I mean, I think we hit it all. We hit the, the, the reliability, we hit the cross generational hookup. I mean, really it's just the, the overall investment of, of, of having the faith in the system that it's gonna <laughs> operate as Kevin said, reliably and not be your portion of the system or the machine that's gonna cause failure points. And it's, it's the understanding that Toyota builds one of the highest quality systems out there. And the reliability is, is top level within the industry and, and this part of the investment is something that you put your money into and it's, it's money that's going to be very well spent. It's not going to term out. It's not going to age out. It's going to be something that can remain within your company for many, many years. So for the smaller shop, which is very prevalent in our area, area job shop, small batches, you don't know what's going to be coming across your floor tomorrow. This system is, is a great uh, step into the automation world to be able to go from your three axis vertical machining center to your four axis horizontal machining center with automate automation included. So now we just flex and walk off camera, right? Is that, is that what we do? Yep. I mean, so if I do. flex, I'll be embarrassed by this young man. Are you kidding me? But this is the summary of what your shop can accomplish. This is a real life situation here at Lennar here in Pennsylvania. Been doing it for a long time. So it's not just a recently implemented cell that we hope is gonna work good for the next 20 years. It is a proven, fact proven cell that has been working for the last 25 years and for the another 20 years and beyond. So if you wanna have more questions about this, reach out to my buddy here. Uh, Jeb is amazing. You can reach out to the guys directly here. Kevin is also incredible. And we can answer any questions you might have because there is always some type of concern when doing something new. But here in America, we have to do something new to compete globally. And that's why we do these videos. That's why we do these tours. That's why we're so grateful when folks like Alta and Lennar come together to allow us to bring cameras in. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Please let us know if you have any questions, we're happy to help.